scene. I want to deal with it. We don't run. I want everything you're saying, I want to deal with. Oh, Lord, you believe on him, you're going to do what he says, correct? I mean, not this, is, this is what the Israelites do. This is why we went in slavery, sis. Because we reject God's commandments. God's commandments still stand firm. Um, I do believe that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. For breaking the commandments. Yes, so how do we become righteous? It's not by going back and saying, I'm going to keep the law. Because the law and grace you can't be on the boat. So that means either you're wrong or the scripture's wrong. No, your understanding is wrong. No, my understanding wrong. My understanding 100% on point. Your understanding wrong. You know how you understand it wrong? Because you ain't seeing right now. Hey, Shalom brothers, Shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. Phenomena, kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire come. We purify better than gold, got my Bible on, and that's all that I know. Where Babylon, go fall, watch it blow. Hey, switching it up, the nation's gonna drink it. I'm talking to cup, don't care what you thinking. Believe in the gospel, the godly stinking. The fires of heaven gonna gather for dinner. The ear of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner. Your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin. If they is, if they mind, they don't repent. They Acts 15 verse 1. Bring it Let's read the book of Acts chapter 15 verse 1. Listen, sis, you dealing with Bible scholars. This is what we do. Uh, I do this daily. He do this daily. We don't come out on the street unequipped. We come out on the street with the word of God and the Holy Spirit. Now, what you wanted in Acts 15? And after that, I'll leave since I no, I don't want you to leave. We want you here. But this is the problem. Christians have not learned the truth of the gospel. Uh, Oh, what's, what Paul says, you have to understand. It, it is. I understand, but I can tell you what it means if you let me connect the verses. Okay, you want to connect verses. Okay, now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm, listen, 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 I'm going to let you finish. We record. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. I just want to clarify something. I just want to clarify something. Uh, you can show me, you can show me whatever scripture you want to show me, but I want to clarify something. If I go... We, I got to deal with the points. I'm the teacher. This is our platform. I got to deal with the points. When you say something, I got to go to the Bible to show you wrong. If I say something, I got to go to the Bible to justify what I'm saying. That's what I've been doing. We ain't running to the books of Paul. You don't know the books of Paul. That's what we're telling you. Romans chapter 4, you don't understand that. You don't understand Romans 3. Matter of fact, you don't even understand the book of Acts. You don't understand Leviticus. You don't understand none of that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're trying to conglomerate different doctrines from deaf, several different Christian denominations. That's what you're doing. You're taking, but you grew up under one. And you're taking everything that they taught us in Catholicism and theology and seminary, and you're trying to mesh it with the truth of the Bible. Now, where did you want to go in Acts 15? I'm going to deal with your question. Where do you want to go? What scripture? Where do you want to go to prove your point? Okay, we can start at 24. All right. Go to Acts 15, 24. Let's go. The book of Acts, chapter 15, and verse 24. For as much as we have heard, that certain which outwit 
excuse me, that certain which went out from us uh -huh. have troubled you with words, uh -huh. subverting your souls, uh -huh. saying ye must be circumcised and keep the law, uh -huh. to whom we gave no such commandment. Okay. No such commandment. So, so question, question. I'm asking once again. Does the Bible contradict itself? Because we just read what Paul, what apostles told Paul to keep the law. So is he, is that a lie? In the same book? That's not why he did that. Nope, 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 no. Look, it says one can eat Right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, on, on the Sabbath days and on the feast days. That's what that's talking about. You don't understand, Roman. You taking Christian theology. You know what this, you know what's gonna happen, sis? You know what's gonna happen. You, do you know what's gonna happen? That wasn't no sin. There was no law against it. No, no, that was Numbers chapter 15, and he was he was stoned because he was gonna cook with it. They weren't they weren't about to cook that corn. They was eating it. That ain't work. Cooking is work, but not them just grabbing. That's just like me seeing a grape on the ground and grabbing and eating. When they were in the wilderness, Moses told them that I'm bringing you out here so that I will test you to see if you can keep the commandments of God. Go to Exodus 16. What you want? You, you, hold on, hold on, stop, 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 stop. This, let me, this is Christianity one on one. You say you quoting the story and you're quoting it absolutely wrong. I hope I'm about to go to the story to explain it to you and you telling me to stop. That's Christianity. We're showing you in the Bible. I'm about to show it. I don't want to hear you. I want to hear the Bible. We're not here to hear you because you're going to lead us to death. We're trying to show you how to get eternal life. So if you say something about Exodus, but you recorded it wrong, that was in the book of Numbers, then what you said about the about the uh, bear man in the wilderness, I'm about to show you the discrepancy in what you're saying in that story because you don't know what you're saying. Now give me the book of Exodus 16, 23. The book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. This is God's commandment. This is what God has said. Read. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. He told them Friday before sundown, tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Me and you agree on that. Read. Unto the Lord, Read. bake that which you will bake today. Bake your food on this day before the Sabbath because it was unlawful to cook on the Sabbath. Read. And see that you will see. And boil what you're going to boil. Read. And that which remaineth over. And all your leftovers, do what with it? Lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Lay up to be kept until the morning. God didn't want us cooking on the Sabbath day. He gave us twice as much manna on Friday before sundown, so on the Sabbath we wouldn't have to leave out our place to go pick it. You're not dealing with no average Joe, sister. We're showing you the Bible, but no, this is the problem. This is the issue. Christianity is going to lead our people to death. We just read in the book of 1 John, in the New Testament, John, Christ's favorite apostle. He wasn't stoned. That's in the book of Numbers. He was picking some sticks to start a fire to cook. That's what we're trying to show you. I know, yeah, I know, because you don't understand. That's why we're trying to get you to understand. Look, sister, we love you, sis. This ain't hatred, but you're wrong. You're wrong. Yes, but he was picking up sticks to cook because it was unlawful to cook. We just read the law. Cook what you was going to cook to me today, and tomorrow you eat leftovers. That was on the Sabbath. He was about to go cook it. For breaking the Sabbath. But they weren't breaking the Sabbath in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 12. When they was picking the corn off of it as they was going through the field. Give me that. Give me, give me Matthew 23. Give me Matthew 12. Picking the sticks because he was about to go burn fire to cook. They weren't cooking. Don't you know you're not supposed to burn fire in your house on the Sabbath? Oh my God. Yes. No, you're, no, you're right. Listen, listen. Ho, ho, ho. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. If it's the dead of winter and it's below zero, can I light... That's the question. I can't light fire in my house. Nope. This is the uh, this. Did you see this? Christianity one on one. That's a misunderstanding of the law. We couldn't cook. Give me Exodus thirty five and three. Yes, every land one of them except the animal sacrifice. That's it. Show me one I ain't keeping. Fringes got them all. This ain't Miss Fabric. Man, this one hundred percent. Thank you. I'll pray to the Most High. So you can't condemn us out here. That's that's Christianity. Let me point out what you're not doing to justify me being in sin. No, read. The book of Exodus. You love sin because you said we can't get the law. The Bible says sin is the breaking of the law. You don't have a spirit. You never had it. In your whole life, you never had the law. The spirit, yes, which is the commandment. We just read in Romans 7, 14. Did we just, you're right. The letter of animal sacrifice does kill. You're exactly right. Yeah, the law of animal sacrifice is not a faith. You exactly right. So I don't have faith. If I said love my neighbor as myself, because God said I can't get the kingdom if I don't do it, is that not faith? Love is not the I'm asking a question. Is that faith? Love is not the law. Sister, is that faith? Loving my brother? Yes.
Yes, is that faith? Yeah, but faith. I'm oh, wait, faith. wait, that's the law. You see how they contradict they they say? Well, you believe on him, you gonna do what he says, correct? this on camera oh my god i want i want to run back the camera so you can see yourself you all over the place and you have no understanding read the law exodus 35 and 3 the book of exodus chapter 35 and verse 3 so you are the brother with stone read you shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the sabbath day why because he told us in the law cook what you're gonna cook today and tomorrow on the sabbath eat leftovers don't heat it up that's what he's saying but if it's the dead of winter and i'm about to pass out and let negative low so i gotta have my infant little one-year-old girl in a house below zero with no heat on come on sister stop playing you know god ain't telling us that god saying don't cook on the sabbath that's what he talking about kindle the fire stop playing that's the issue. Now give me Matthew chapter 19. Christ going to tell you how to get the kingdom of God. Then give me Matthew chapter 22 so I can show her what the two commandments are that Christ speaking of. How do you sum those commandments up? Read. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? man wanted to know how to get the kingdom of heaven. I know you read this story. He came to Christ. A, a young man. He came to Christ. The young man that had the money. He was a lawyer. You're right. He came to Christ and asked him how to get the kingdom of God. You know the story, but I'm going to read it anyway. Come on. And he said, I said you didn't know everything. I didn't say you didn't know nothing. I didn't say you didn't know nothing. Sis, I'm not attacking you. You know I love you, don't you? I love you too. That's why I'm loving you enough to correct you. You're wrong. The Bible says to rebuke you when you're wrong. If you're wrong, I'm going to tell you. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Why are you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. There's none, but, there's none good but one. Read. That is God. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's how you get the kingdom of God. Oh, keep the commandments. Yeah, we're going to keep reading. Keep reading. He said unto him, which. No, it wasn't to. Watch what Christ keeps saying. Read. Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. That's a ten commandment. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Ten commandments. Thou shalt not steal. Ten commandments. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Ten commandments. Honor thy father and thy mother. Ten commandments. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That ain't in the ten. Showing you that loving your neighbor as yourself, there must be other parts of the Bible to show me truly how to love my neighbor as myself. Where can I read that? Romans 9. Romans chapter 13, verse 9. I'm going to show you. That's why I said we ain't running, and we're going to go right back to Acts 15. We're going to go back there, and I'm going to show you you're wrong, your error. Come on. The book of Romans chapter 13, verse 9. Read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. But wait a minute. If you love your neighbor, read, read verse 8. Verse 8. Oh, no man anything read. but to love one another. This is how I love my sister, because I do love you, my sister. Read. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. You love another, you're keeping the law. Well, how do I keep the law? How do I love somebody? Read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. You're not my wife. I have a wife. If I sleep with you, that's adultery. Since I love you and I love my wife, I would not do it. That's how I love my neighbor as myself. I won't commit adultery. Read. Thou shalt not kill. I won't kill you because I love my neighbor as myself, which is the second greatest commandment. So that's also going to the ten. That's the same thing Christ said. Keep reading. Thou shalt not steal. I won't steal from you because I love you. I'm going to keep that law. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. I'm not going to bear false witness against you. I'm not going to lie to you. Why? Because I love you, and I'm going to keep the Ten Commandments like God said. Read. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, any other law in the Bible, read. It is briefly comprehended in this saying, what is that? namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's right. All praise to the Most High God. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. The black Messiah. That's Christ is not going to be Trump, sis. The Bible says in order to keep the commandments, in order to love your neighbor as yourself, you must, it says, briefly comprehended in this saying. There are laws about sleeping with women on their menstrual. We still can't do that. There are laws about not feeding you pork. I won't do that. Why? Because I love you as myself. Let's go to Mark chapter 7. Because I know where you're going. Can we read it? Can we read the whole chapter? I'm asking. Okay, you can't say I, I'm okay. I'm okay to jump around. I'm okay to jump around. I'm asking you, can I start at another place? Can I start somewhere else? I want to read. I want to read Mark chapter seven. But can I start somewhere else? <laughs> Man, you know, how, just, so, sis, 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 sis. This is the issue. Romans chapter two and Romans chapter four is like calculus. You are arithmetic. You don't know two plus two. You ain't not gonna understand uh, geometry. That ain't insulting you. That's telling you the truth. 
I'm not gonna break down the whole Romans chapter two. You know how many scriptures I'm gonna have to go to to give you the understanding on that? I'm gonna give you the understanding precept, palm, precept. We got plenty of class online in Romans chapter two. Matter of fact, this Saturday at two, hold on, this Saturday at two o'clock, you hear me inviting her. This Saturday at two o'clock, you can come to our church. You can't wear them pants though, because that's a breaking God's law. You got to wear a dress. You come to the school wearing a dress with your head covered, like First Corinthians in the New Testament says, like First Timothy two and nine says. You supposed to dress modestly. You come to the church. You stand up. You raise your hand. You say, "Brother, I got a question on Romans chapter two and Romans chapter four, and we will break it down." But right here on the street, while I got drug dealers over here, his brothers over here selling drugs right now. His brothers and sisters over here eating shellfish, pork, killing each other. I ain't got time to break down Romans two and four to you to give you the understanding. Well, you can come to the church and get the understanding. Go to Acts 15 and let me show her that they did the same thing in the church. Ask her, nah, we're going to do what we going to do, sister. We're going to go to Mark 7 when I'm ready to go to Mark 7. Yeah, no, I'm going to show you to understand. Now, give me Acts 15. So we, hey, hey, so we don't know the Bible, but she couldn't explain nothing. We done said it all day. All right, read. Verse 7. Because you can't. Acts chapter 15 and verse 7. And when there had been. Not Acts 15 and 7, Acts 15 and 20. Yes, sir. The book of Acts chapter 15, verse 20. Wait, I knew it was going to come back to Acts. How did I know that? Read. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols. That's breaking the first commandment, a pollution of an idol, yeah, that idolatry. Was, that was right, thank you. So that was a law. No, that was what, listen, what I'm saying is. That wasn't the law? Example, was that the law? Listen. Pollution of idol was the law? You see, I see you won't say law? No, the no. devil the Bible speak of, man. You got the no, devil on you, sis. Paul said you can eat things, sacrifice to idols. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He said, we know, no, I, we can go there. We can go there. They were weak, so they couldn't. So I'm, so let me tell you something. He wasn't talking about eating. No, 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 no. So no, 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 no. You see this? You see this? Everything. So you can eat a human. You can eat a human. Me. Can you eat a human? Dude, I You said everything God made good. Can you eat a human? Was they not, was the Canaanites not cannibals and God destroyed them? Okay, thank you. So you know what you're talking about. Hush, read. The book of Acts chapter 15 verse 20. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols. Commandment number one and two. Read. And from fornication. Oh, commandment number what? Seven? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Read. read. And from things strangled and from blood. And from what? From blood. Read about that in Leviticus 17 because the blood is the life thereof. You don't eat the blood. Read. For Moses of old time. Wait a minute. Whoa. Why would they bring up Moses? Why is he bringing up Moses? Because Moses of old time what? Have in every city. In every city what? Them that preach him. Them that preach. They was preaching Moses in every city during this time. Read. Being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Every Sabbath day they went to learn Moses. Every Sabbath day they went to sister. What did that say? Did that say every hold on, hold on. Did they say every Sabbath day? Well, hold on, hold on. Did they say every Sabbath day they went to learn Moses? Yes or no? He was writing to the Gentiles. This is the righteousness of Read 19, bro. Yeah, you done, sis. You done. Hey, shalom, bro. Hey, shalom, bro. What's your name, bro? What's your name, family? What's your name, bro? What's your name? Travis, Travis, what's your nationality, bro? What's your race, bro? What's your race, bro? You lit, too. You've been drinking. No, don't leave. Don't leave. You won't let me finish. I don't let you finish, but you won't. <laughs> I know what you're saying, sis. That's just, let me, can I say something? You, I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you're wrong. You're my sister. Listen, sis, don't be a, listen, listen, let me, let me just say this. I'm not, no, I'm just, by telling you you're wrong, by telling you you're wrong, but when I went to the scripture, you said, well, I don't know everything. Okay. So now, let me show these brothers something real quick. Because you know you know you Israel. You better keep God's commandments. You don't keep commandments, you're not getting the king. Let me show you this, bro. Who it is? Let me help y'all both out. Oh, God, and Esau wasn't right. You see, she came up here for the white man. She did not come up here to prove us wrong. This whole argument was about the white man. Hey, man, come on, man. Hey, come here, bro. Come here, bro. Romans 9. I am African. You are an Israelite. You ain't African. African is the seed of ham, since you're not nilotic. All right? You're not a nilotic Hamite. Hey, hey, bro, what's up? What's up? Y'all follow this? That ain't Jesus. That ain't Jesus, brother. What in the Bible say Jesus look like that? No, that ain't Jesus. Jesus over there. That's a black man. That ain't the true depiction of him. We're just showing you a biblical depiction. Christ a black man. And hey, y'all better repent because y'all so-called Hispanics. Y'all don't know y'all the Israelites. Y'all get put to death out here. I'm telling you, bro, Israel got demons on them, especially on this side of town, whether they're educated or they come over here drunk and high as hell. Oh, my God. I love you, sis. Romans 9, 13. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. I got to do you like this. You know why? Because you're not humble. I got to make you. I got to humble you, sis. I got to humble you, sis. I got to humble you. 
I got to humble you. Read. As it is written, Jacob, have I loved. God love Jacob. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. That's you. Read. But Esau, have I hated. God hate the white man. Esau. God hate him. What, what color was Esau? Red. And what color was um? The white man. Red. Look at that. Red. Look at that picture. Red as hell. <laughs> And no, David was not red and said he was ruddy, which means he had a fair complexion. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Jacob. What you the master the Maserati text? We ain't talking about car, we talking about the Bible. What you talking about? Man, you don't get out of here with that Hebrew. We don't speak no damn Hebrew. We speak English. English say red. He was red and hairy. That's English. We don't need no damn Hebrew for that. Now I'm gonna tell you why we don't need Hebrew. This is why. Because there are certain texts in the Bible. They're not the same word. That's a different why. It's just a why. It's moved out of one place and moved to the other. It's not the word. Ruddy, ruddy, mean, ruddy means flair complexion. Red means you red. You understand? Red and hairy, eat raw meat, and love to kill everybody. That's the white man says. Stop playing. Romans 9, 13 again. The book of Romans chapter 9. I, ain't gonna get I, I don't hate them. God does. Read it again. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is I won't do it. Who, I don't hate them. What scripture say I hate them? When did I say I hated them? I'm saying you think because God hated Esau was based on his color. If no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say. I didn't say, but I never said that God hated him because his skin color. Why would I say that? That's not biblical. But why do you hate him? Romans, I don't hate him. God hates him. I don't hate him. I don't have, bruh, listen, I played uh, in the NBA and overseas and in college. All of my coaches were white men. I ain't got nothing against them, but the Bible says God hate them. What you want me to do? Now read Romans 9 and 8. We'll read the context. Read. read the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 8. Lord. That is, they which are children of the flesh. They which are children of the flesh. Read. These are not the children of God. Ishmael was a child of the flesh. Esau was a child of the flesh. They was not the children of the promise. The promise was given to who? No, go down. The, the who was the promise given to? The children of the promise are counted for the seed. Which is who? Which is whoever believes in Jesus. Romans 94. The, the book of Romans. I'm going to in the same chapter. I ain't got to leave. The the chapter, same same chapter, sis. Listen. The same the chapter, sis. The same chapter, sis. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. We know that the promise came through Christ. We understand that. Who are Israelites? He has the seed that you read about in Galatians. Who are the Israelites? 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 Who
You read the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter. There was two kids born by Isaac, Jacob and Esau, right? When Jacob came out, after his twin brother Esau, he held Esau's heel. God gave a promise. He said, that son Esau, he gonna be red and hairy. What race of people on the earth are red and hairy today? They, they skin red. When they get angry, they skin get red. You see their blood. People. What you say, brother? White people. Now, he ain't did all this super uh, discipleship theology, too, but he understand that clearly. And he understand clearly right. that the white man is red. Right. It's so simple. Out, and girl. not only is he red, if you take a Gillette razor from him, his beard will be on the ground. Right. Right, right or wrong? Can't right or wrong? No, no, hell no. Don't listen to, okay. We don't listen to women over here. Okay. What the hell? What? What's wrong with this sister? That is no damn woman. We don't teach the Bible. What the hell wrong with you? We don't teach Bible. We listen to men over here. The men rule this earth. Right. You understand? We done slaughter her in the scriptures all day, bro. She angry. You walk to, you see, you see. Wait, what'd you say, bro? You see she mad. Cause we done been killing in the scriptures all day. She don't understand the Bible, but she came up here to teach us. We ain't them type of men no more. Right. Weak black men, that's over. Right. It's done on the earth. Bring it's the out, truth about the Bible. Black men gonna stand up for the truth of the Bible, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.